What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brandy from Stay Snatched. And today we're making purple sweet potatoes. You're going to love these. I have some purple sweet potatoes to show you guys today, and I'm so excited to do that because for starters, I get so many questions on how can I eat more veggies? I think people get bored and tired of eating the same thing, but let me tell you, add some of these to your routine. So first, let's get started with what are purple sweet potatoes and so these here they are labeled stokes purple sweet potato and so i've researched that you can get purple sweet potatoes or purple sweet potatoes originate from different areas throughout the world there's a lot that come from um, south america and europe i've seen people call these japanese sweet potatoes as well but these in particular these are labeled stokes which are produced right here in north america in the united states um, i got these at sprouts i've also seen them at whole foods you can probably find them at most of your uh healthy grocery stores i can tell you the grocery store close to my house or right down the street they ain't got these and so you do have to probably go somewhere that will carry a little bit more of the eccentric type veggies and so that's what they are where they where you can get them they're purple because of this thing called anthocyanin something kind of like that um, so it's within these sweet potatoes and it gives it the purple the pigment gives it the purple color so that is also found in blackberries and blueberries red cabbage things like that the other thing i know y'all are gonna want to know is how do they taste and so it's really interesting because i don't feel like these taste like a regular sweet potato or even just a regular like russet potato the texture is super moist and so you'll see uh, once I get these cooked and kind of dig into it the texture is really moist without putting butter on it although I love to lace me a little bit of butter on there it's just so good um, so they're really moist and soft and they just kind of have like this wine like taste to me maybe i'm making that up i don't think so but they're so good um to be honest i actually feel like i'm starting to prefer these more than regular sweet potatoes and i love me some regular sweet potatoes so that's super interesting and so the other thing to notice is that this size these are all they're really thin which is pretty consistent with typical sweet potatoes that you find they're often um kind of shaped awkwardly and different than like a russet potato is but these are also just really thin in terms of like um i guess the width but the length is pretty long and so keep that in mind too with how you're gonna cook them um, the weight the weight of your sweet potato will impact how long you need to cook it and then also just keep in mind that you just might get one that just has this little top on it you know everything is going to be kind of luck of the draw but there's three different ways can i count three different ways that you can cook these sweet potatoes you can boil them on the stove you can roast them in the oven or you can air fry them. And if y'all have been around the block with me before, you know I'm all about air frying. So, and so I will say after testing all of those three methods, air frying is my favorite. And the reason why is because the reason why I love to air fry even regular potatoes and regular sweet potatoes is because the guessing game is eliminated. I often find when I bake things in the oven, if I think it's gonna take 45 minutes with sweet potatoes, it takes 60. And these sometimes often take a little longer than a standard sweet potato when you boil them or when you make them in the oven. But I found that with air frying them, the time is consistent with making regular sweet potatoes. And so what I actually like to do is when I know I'm having one of these for dinner, I get it going before my workout. And so I pop this in my air fryer before my workout, get my workout in, come back, prep the rest of my dinner. These are still nice and warm by the time you slice into them. And so that's my recommended way, but I'm gonna show you all three different ways to make those today. So for my air fryer method, I take a little bit of olive oil and I spritz it on there and then I rub it in and then I sprinkle on a little bit of salt 
and then you're gonna air fry that on 400 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. To bake them, I've already rubbed this one in olive oil and I've added a little bit of salt. I'm gonna bake that in a 400 degree oven for 60 to 90 minutes. You really just have to test those using a fork and prick it to be sure that it's done. Now to boil these, you're gonna wanna use a pot that's large enough to hold your sweet potato and then add enough water to the pot so that the sweet potato is completely covered. And then you're gonna boil that for 30 to 40 minutes. And then once you slice into that sweet potato, you're gonna see that brilliant purple color, so vibrant. And then I add a little bit of butter here. And then once that's nice and melted, go ahead and enjoy that sweet potato.